two cents. It's your girl Penny, and today I have my father with me. You want to say? Uh, good? good morning, everyone. Yes. Good morning, everyone. Um, we decided to do Dad's favorite DiGiorno pizza. I know we talked about it, but I don't think we did a video on it. And we'd like to eat it, taste it, tell you what we like about it, what we don't like about it, and give you our honest 100% rating on this. If that all sounds good to you, we please ask you to subscribe. Show the subscribe button some love, guys. It's down below. Click it, boop it, smash it, but show it some love. Whatever you got to do. Every bit we, we can appreciate. That's exactly right. We appreciate anybody that subscribes. We appreciate anybody that gives us the thumbs up. We just appreciate you guys even want to watch us. So anyway. Good morning. And that's that's, good that's morning. a good morning, good day, huh? So anyway... It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno, guys. So this is Dad's favorite one. It's the Supreme. It's a frozen pizza. Right, from the grocery store. It's a Supreme, it's the stuffed crust. Now this is the stuffed crust that has the mozzarella around the inside of the, oh, around the inside of the outside of the crust. Does that make sense? It's on the, what do you call that? It's surrounding the outside of the, of the inside of the crust. I don't know what you call it. I don't even what you call it. It's the butt part of the pizza. I think Dad's called it before. It's the crust part that has that has cheese inside I it. I call it the bones. Oh, the bones. Yeah, that's it. The bones of the pizza. That's the crust part around the outside. So anyway, it's a supreme. It's a sausage, pepperoni, red and green onions, black olives, sausage made with from pork and chicken, pepperoni made from pork and chicken, and beef. So anyway, stuffed crust pizza. Um, here in Ohio, these range around $9.99, $10 or so. Um, I didn't keep my receipt. I can't remember, but I just know it's in that price range. So it's hot. I try to let it cool down a little bit before we cut it. But we'll see what we can do here. See if I can not burn my fingers. Don't burn it. I'm trying not to. That's easier said than done sometimes, ain't it? Let's cool it down. And you bake these on 400 degrees for 24 minutes. I go about 26 minutes. I always go a little longer because I just I feel like it just does better. The middle part gets a little hotter. Ooh, yeah. Nice and hot, that's for sure. I can see the steam coming off. And I got a horrible pizza cutter. Oh my goodness. Woo! That piece looks almost picture perfect, Dan. So I, uh, yeah, I know you can see it on this pan here. Let's hold this up closer so you can get You want a piece? You can go ahead and take a bite. No good. You don't have to wait on me. I'm just, I was just, good. yeah, so it smells good. It made the apartment smell really, really good. Let's get a couple bites, try not to burn our mouths. One thing about the false teeth is you can eat the stuff hotter. Yeah. <laughs> With dentures or false teeth, like you said, I I struggle. But Dad, with uh, his false teeth, he'll go in on the hot stuff, and I'm like, "Oh, you're gonna burn your mouth." And he goes, "No, I can handle it." And I'm like, "I don't know how." I wanted to show you what I was talking about. There's cheese. I get close enough to the camera. See, there's cheese in that back crust. Like a stuffed crust from you know the takeout places. Oh, it tastes good. Mm -hmm. The journal the would puts out a good pizza. They do. Or frozen pizza. And like I said before, Dad is the pizza lover, so I would take his word more over mine. But I'm going to tell you honestly, okay? I like the cheese in that back crust. That's really good. Mm -hmm. It's a decent mozzarella cheese. Got a little saltiness to it. Very good. Mm -hmm. The sausage on this, it's not a super strong sausage, which I appreciate because if sausage is really, really strong, sometimes I, I, I just don't, I don't care for it. So I like that. These pepperonis, got a bunch of cheese on them. The pepperoni 
legs are mild too. They're not super strong either. And you got chunks of onions and green peppers and red peppers and olives and you feel like you're getting a supreme pizza. I mean, it's got the toppings. It's not short on the topping. Like, I've seen on a lot of frozen pizzas, they're getting better, but. Let's rewind the clock back before DiGiorno was out, okay? Every frozen pizza before DiGiorno, DiGiorno ever came out, I had to add like extra cheese on it or yeah. something on it to make it taste edible or make it taste like I'm having a pizza experience. DiGiorno and these newer pizzas, you don't have to add anything. You don't have to add salt. You don't have to add sauce or no. No kind of sauce or anything. Now, I like ranch sometimes to dip my pizza in. I know a lot of other people do. A lot of other people have other things, mustard, all kinds of crazy stuff they put on pizza. But I mean, this, these DiGiornos nowadays and some of the other brands, you don't have to add anything to it. And I really like that. I really, it feels like you just put it in the oven, bake it, and it's ready to go and you can enjoy it. So I, I like that about that. Now the sauce, does it taste a little, is it sweet? Is it tangy? What kind of sauce flavor are you getting off in this, Dad? I just call it a pizza sauce. <laughs> but uh, It's a little tangy, right? It's a little tangy. Yeah, it's not, I mean, there's a slight sweetness in the background, but it's mostly a good tangy tomato sauce. It's got some seasoning in it, like, it's not bland. It's definitely not bland. And with all the peppers and onions, that even elevates it. You want a little piece here? I don't know. I don't know. You usually eat two pieces. Yeah. I'll give him another piece. He'll eat it. I'll say one thing. We have not, we have not done the crook, uh, the cheese in the crook. Mm. Um, we got I'll tell you, it, it, uh, there are no bones in it. There are no pieces of bread. And uh, what are you saying? Like it, it's it's eatable. Right. All, well, of it, all of it. With the cheese. In the, in the ring of the crust, you know what he's talking about? It makes the pizza, it makes you want to eat the whole thing. You don't want to just leave that back part of that crust laying on your plate because it has the cheese in it. So it makes you want to eat it because right. it has the cheese it in it. It tastes good. Mm -hmm. it, it tastes good too. Mm -hmm. It does. So, I already know the answer to this. Would you recommend this Supreme DiGiorno stuffed yes, crust pizza? Yes, I'd go nine and a half. <laughs> a score? You already given the score? He's already given a score, guys. He says nine and a half. Okay. Like I said, he's the pizza lover. But a frozen pizza, and I'm going on taste. I give it a nine. I give it a nine. It's, it's a really good pizza. Um, I can't imagine many frozen pizzas being, you know, like what I consider knock your socks off a 10 or anything, but we might find one. Um, I got some suggestions for Newman's Own Pizzas, um, California Kitchen Pizzas. I mean, I got some suggestions from you guys. If I haven't, you know, if you haven't suggested your favorite frozen pizza, please do. Uh, we would like to try it. Like I said, Dad's the pizza lover, and he's, he likes these frozen pizzas if they have a good flavor to them. So he would be willing to try other brands yeah, right. because he's stuck on DiGiorno now, but he'd be willing to try other brands, you know? So I just get DiGiorno for him because I know that's what he likes. I don't want to get him some pizza, bake it, and him not enjoy it. So, you know, but once we're, since we're doing these videos and we're doing these reviews, we're going to branch out and try different different brands so i tell you what she can get the joint over with the, the crust cheese uh, the crusted cheese i don't know uh, how you put that this one that you're eating right yeah. now they just call it stuffed crust the journal stuffed crust pizza that's what well, they call this one what, uh, it tastes good and, uh, and it's, it, it, you eat all of it and the journal is putting out all these different kinds of pizzas now like the pan crust, the thin crust, the extra stuffed crust where they have the cheese underneath. Like there's like two crusts with the cheese underneath. 
they're putting off all, all these different kinds of pizzas, and we, we, we plan on making our way through some of those, too, that, that look interesting to us, so. That was good pizza. Go on, Wood. Before you take another bite. What is that? We're getting ready to end. Oh, okay. Uh, anyway, I want to wish you guys a great lunch, a great dinner, or a great late night snack. And most of all, I want to wish you a great day. Well, you got it. It's so long, and it's great to have a pizza with you. <laughs> it was great having pizza with you. He's, eating, he's talking with his mouth full. <laughs> it was great having pizza with you. But anyway. I wish you a uh, great day. Yep, I do too. A so. great day. Okay, you ready to say goodbye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> until, until next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.